Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kreitman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, look at global illumination. Now I have a, uh, a figure loaded up and I have a couple of light bulbs. And a uh, very quick thing about the figure, this is uh, 3D Universe's Toon Generations figure and uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it does a lot of stuff and I'll, I'll talk more about it in another video but uh, yeah this one's on OpenGL. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this is we're going to do a standard render with standard settings. Uh, no anti-aliasing, 4 pixels, and uh, 4 pixels on the shadows. Let's check this out. Let's render. And this is basically what you have for, uh, for uh, a standard scene. You have a, a couple of lights, and you notice how dark the shadows are, and how kind of harsh they are. It isn't just because we have a lower render setting. Uh, it's because we, we aren't really doing uh, the kind of tricks that Carrera can do. Uh, one of the things about this kind of rendering, it kind of tells that you're using a low-end program or that you're um, not really familiar with your render settings, you know, or maybe even uh, avoiding, you know, good render uh, or, you know, uh, advanced rendering techniques. Let's go ahead and show you some re uh, rendering techniques. First of all, let's go into scene and let's go into background and we're just, let's start with the by gradient. Crank this all the way up and let's see what we got this is your basic uh, background now it looks a little bit better but check this out now that you have something in your background and uh, credit the sweet leaf for turning me on to this concept um, your background is basically a uh, a, a sky dome and uh, it encompasses your whole scene and it it can be used it, it can be used as a sky dome. It's a, it's a complete world in itself. Well, with uh, something in your background, click on your, your global illumination. And let's lose these lights. Let's go ahead and lose the lights. Now let's check out what we got. With global illumination and no lights in the background, you see how your your render is kind of taking the color from your background and then using it to to um, help light your scene. Check this out. Uh, let's do scene. Let's go ahead and start at the top. Light at the top. Dark at the bottom. Now check this out. Now remember the harsh shadows that we had before? Now we have just slightly softer looking uh, shadow areas. And uh, this makes the render just look a lot better. You know, I, personal opinion it looks a lot better uh, you might disagree but you'd be wrong no I'm just kidding uh, no it's it's pretty good check this out uh, you can also use this to determine the colors uh, you want a warmer scene let's go ahead and do this And you notice how fast this goes with uh, with uh, no lights in it that if you're if you're wanting to check out the global illumination in your scene Start out by taking your lights out and then working your way up to the amount of lights that you want in your scene. That's, that's basically the way I do it and you save a lot of render time. We've already rendered three times with global illumination and it's gone pretty quick, you know, just so you know. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a backdrop in here. Let's go ahead and throw a map. Let's do blue back. It's just a gradiated blue background, kapow. And Let's go ahead and render this. And instead of this, instead of this uh, background, you can use, put a background in here and then help add to your scene. Now check this out. Let's go ahead and throw a map in here. Let's use the same map, and this is going to help sell the sell the entire scene. Check this out. Look how quick this goes. Zip. And see how it it has adopted the colors of your background and incorporated into into your scene. Now check this out. Uh, your intensity. Look how how this slider is it, at 100%. It's way way down here. You can go ahead and crank it up to like 500%, and it goes all the way up to 10,000. And at 10,000, your your uh, your subject just becomes uh, super lit. and see how you you've made your subject more visible you can start to see the textures now using the intensity of your background uh, 
will help sell your scene too. Let's go ahead and bring this down to 200 and check out our render here. There we go, you still have that. And now uh, you can start adding lights to your scene. We'll select these. You know, uh, while we're on the subject right here, uh, selecting both of these at the same time, you can uh, adjust them both at the same time, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, let's go ahead and make them visible. There we go. And render. And that's pretty much it for your global illumination. There are some things that we didn't touch on, but uh, this is like the main part of it. Uh, make your renders better by uh, uh, softening your shadows. The whole the whole thing with 3D is uh, is the interaction between light and shadow, you know, and uh, how you present that is what's going to make you look good as a 3D person. So, anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.